The area of the East Siberian Arctic Shelf is the most mysterious until recently area of the world ocean. It is about 2 million square kilometers, which is one third of the continental shelf of the Arctic Ocean. And it is extremely shallow. The mean depth of this area is 50 meters. We register concentration of methane in the atmosphere of the Arctic region being 8 to 10 percent higher than above the entire globe. So that was a previously uh, widespread opinion, the permafrost, subsea permafrost serves as a seal, as a cap preventing any escape of methane from the seabed deposits. And when the permafrost failing in its ability to preserve these deposits any longer, so this high pressure has no obstacle. It just can be released in in as outburst lights and create this chimneys or pathway for this methane to release. The methane is always produced in a sediment below the, any kind of the water body, would it be the fresh water or the sea water. This is where the methane is produced. It produces in a sediment. Why in a sediment? Because there is anaerobic conditions where there is no oxygen. And the amount of this methane will depend on how much organic matter available for microbes, bioavailable, for microbes in this very top sediment layer. And the thicker the sediments, the more potential for this methane to be produced, because the thickness means that the volume increases. And what is important even more, that when the sediment deepen more than 150 or 200 meters, there are, besides that the microbes produce methane, Plus, the temperature increasing, and this allows microbes to produce methane more efficiently. And plus, if it is goes even below, there's a thermogenic processes which are step in and produce additional methane. So this means that if you have the sedimentary drape of few hundred meters or few kilometers, it is what we have in this Siberian Arctic shelf and what differs this shelf from other, all other areas in the world ocean and the continental shelf. That the sedimentary drape in this particular shelf area is up to 20 kilometers.
And all yeah. this huge, massive amount of sediment is producing matter. It produces constantly. And it produces wherever the sediment sediments accumulate, all over the vault ocean. But what is the difference? The difference is that in the vault ocean, wherever methane is produced, it is lighter than air, and it is a sense. It's just floating up, and it reaches the surface of the sea floor, and it releases to the water. And because the water is deep, there is specific kind of microbes live in this water, which use this method for their metabolism. They oxidize methane, extracting the energy for their living cycle. And this is it. So this method never reaches the atmosphere. It stays and dies in the water column and never reaches the atmosphere. So this means that um, despite that, the methane is produced all over the world ocean and any particular environment in the world ocean. The amount of methane actually releasing to the atmosphere is very little. But when you go to the East Siberian Arctic shelf, first, because the sedimentary drape is very thick. The mean depth of sediments in the vault ocean is one kilometer. The depth of sedimentary drape in the East Siberian Arctic shelf is 20 kilometers. The area is huge, it's two million square kilometers. It's the largest shelf in the vault ocean. And it is the shallowest at the same time. This means that any methane releasing to the water column especially if it is bubble it used and bubble bubble transported has a chance to be released to the atmosphere and even more important this in the vault ocean when methane is produced and as i said it releases to the water column it releases constantly because there is no caps there is no seals there is no captures there is no accumulation of methane with the rare exception of specific areas in the East Siberian Arctic shell, despite that the methane has been produced for, for hundreds and thousands of years, it has no chances to be released because the permafrost, which is frozen ground, is seen to be serving as a cap. It captures the permafrost. It seals it beneath the permafrost. And this is what causes a huge accumulation of preformed, I mean that the preformed, the methane has been produced before it is given the chance to be released. It's a big difference. In the East Siberian Arctic Shelf, it, it could be that what is released is in, significantly more than what could be produced. Because not only the methanogenesis kind of turns on, but release of methane from beneath the permafrost, from the seabed deposits, which could be the free gas, which could be the hydrates, destabilized. This could be huge amount of methane, which only needs to be provided with the gas migration pathways. So the way to go, and this is the, this would be the column within the permafrost, which we call talix or chimney, or any kind of thought through uh, thought areas. Or this could require the entire permafrost to be discontinued. The concentration of methane currently measured in the Arctic atmosphere are the highest ever measured during the last 400,000 years. Our estimate, estimates show that the methane venting from the East Siberian Arctic shelf is comparable to that amount of methane annually emitted from the entire world ocean. If at least less than 1% of those hydrate deposits will be decayed, destroyed, and released all the methane to the seawater and up to the atmosphere, this might um, cause increase in current atmospheric burden of methane up to 3-4 times. And this might cause climatic consequences, unpredictable.
The area of the Siberian Arctic Shelf is the most mysterious until recently area of the world ocean. It is about 2 million square kilometers, which is one third of the continental shelf of the Arctic Ocean. And it is extremely shallow at the to release. The mean depth of this area is 50 meters. We register concentration of methane in the atmosphere of the Arctic region being 8 to 10 percent higher than above the entire globe. So that was a previously uh, widespread opinion the permafrost, subsea permafrost, serves as a seal, as a cap preventing any escape of methane from the seabed deposits. And when the permafrost failing in its ability to preserve these deposits any longer, so this high pressure has no obstacle. It just can be released in, in as outburst lights and create this chimneys or pathway for this 